Good afternoon, everyone. We're going to get to the heart of the matter today. So, we're down here in what's called our Morris Whitcomb Room, uh, one of our Explore Day programs. These are special workshops uh, run by a specialist that we have here at the Creation Museum, Jennifer. We'll meet her in a moment. But we're going to show you these young people here dissecting a sheep's heart. How about that? So let's have a look. And your kids could be in a fun workshop like this too when you visit the Creation Museum. We have all sorts of workshops that we do here, a whole variety of workshops. Uh, this just happens to be one of them, one that we're doing today. Uh, so let's come over here and uh, we'll see what these kids are doing. And so, Chloe, do you know how I know your name? Because I met your mother before and she said you're from Texas and you're 11 years old and she's going to watch this program while we're doing this. This is live right now on my Facebook. You want to say hi mum? Hi. You've got to sound exciting. Hello. What are you doing? Cutting open a sheep's heart. Cutting open a sheep's heart. Okay. Well you keep doing that. We'll come back a little bit. Hi. How are you? Good. And over here we have Zach from Tennessee. Is that right? Yes it is. So, I spoke to, I think, your mother here, is that right? Yes. See, uh, they saw me in a meet and greet earlier. And she said you're going to be here. So, you want to say hi? Hello. You enjoy yourself? Yes, I am. Have a good time? So, what are you doing here? Dissecting the sheep's heart? Yes, we are. Okay. So, uh, what I thought I would do is, where's Dr. Mitchell? Dr. Mitchell is here. Here's Dr. Mitchell. We'll come over here. Uh, so, uh, I'll get... Uh, Jeremy from the social media team here to hold a microphone there for Dr. Mitchell. Yeah. Thanks. Okay, <laughs> so you're a real doctor? I'm a real doctor. And I'm you work here at Answers and Genesis? I work at Answers and Genesis. And you speak? Yes. So you studied medicine? Yeah. So <laughs> you studied the human body? Yes, I did. How do you know how to cut up a sheep's heart? Uh, it's, pretty, it's, it's very similar, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not a problem. It's not the, a problem? The, the anatomy is the same. The anatomy is the, the anatomy's same? Because it's a mammal? It's a mammal, yeah. Okay, so you actually know what you're doing? Within reason, yeah. So, so you could look at that as a doctor and say, that is a heart? That is a heart. Okay. And I know the chambers you, are biology. Okay, you obviously know your medicine, yeah. but you know that that is a heart. It's a heart. So the atrium? Top chambers. Ventricle? Lower chambers. What, how am I doing? Could I make a doctor? Yeah, you're, you're, you're on the first step. <laughs> first step? You have many steps to go. <laughs> Okay. So what are you, you going to do with the kids here? Just well, we're, just, we're doing anatomy class this afternoon. We just studied blood the first hour, and we've gone through the heart now, and we're doing sheep heart dissection, showing them the chambers and the, where the path of blood takes through the, through the heart and out to the lungs and then later out to the body. So I'm, I'm going to bring up my uh, Facebook here and see if anyone wants to ask any questions and uh, see how we go here. But uh, we're live on my Facebook right now. Okay. And uh, actually, you do uh, speak uh, a lot for Answers in yes. Genesis. Uh, you're an internist. Right. And you felt, uh, you believe that the Lord called you to come and join Answers I in did. Genesis. And uh, you haven't given up medicine. You still... No, I'm still actually licensed. I'm just, I don't actively practice because I'm on the road all the time speaking. Well, I thought you didn't need to practice once you got your degree. I thought I was doing a pretty good job. Hey, we have someone watching from Australia. Oh, excellent. Bristol, Tennessee. Look at that. I remember doing heart dissection at school, someone says. I always got stuck with the squeamish lab part. <laughs> uh, are you finding that with the kids? Are you... Oh, we've got one or two that are just watching. Oh. But that's okay. They're, they're I, I, don't, I don't want the kids to be uncomfortable at all. Oh, okay. So, uh, what I want to do is find uh, Jennifer around here. She's we'll over there. She's over here. So, we'll go over here. Right, we'll we'll, so, we'll uh, continue with our thank, dissection. Thank you for your expertise. My and, pleasure. Okay. You're right. Okay. So we're going to come over here, Everybody needs to step one. and I'll get uh, Jeremy to hold the microphone for Jennifer. Yeah. You, I don't think I'll let you hold the microphone. <laughs> I'll, I'll let, uh, okay. let Jeremy okay. uh, okay. hold it there for you. But what are we what are we doing here? Uh, this is a, a Explore Camp. We have a five day science camp, and today our topic is human anatomy. And so right now they're uh, doing a heart dissection uh, with Dr. Tommy Mitchell. Oh, okay. So. 
we've got a lot more of these camps coming up, a lot more of the, well, a lot more workshops coming yes, up. Yes, yes. What do we call them? We call them Explore Days, and so next year we actually have 11 different science topics, and the kids can come spend a full day here, and they get four hands-on workshops focused on uh, whatever specific science topic we're doing that day. So, we, so name some of the topics that we do. We have, like, forensics, we have physical science, we're going to have Explore Microscopes, we're going to have Explore Geology and Astronomy, uh, Biology, uh, many different topics. So if the kids just really love one certain specific discipline, they can come and spend a whole day here, get four hands-on workshops, and it's only $15. So there we are. And these are at the Creation Museum. So we encourage people to come to the Creation Museum, yep. bring their children, yep. and have a look on the website, creationmuseum.org, and we can have our social yes. media team actually pin on there an exact uh, link straight to the Explore Days. It's creationmuseum.org forward slash explore. So if you go that, that'll take you directly to all the Explore Days and also a link to the Explore Camps. And we have... In fact, we have other workshops here at the Creation Museum too, and so we do a lot of these sorts of things, but we're wanting to bring up generations of kids to love science and love God's Word and not compromise God's Word in any way. So. That's what's unique about our Explore Days is that every single science topic is presented from a biblical worldview. You're not going to get that anywhere else. Right. So it's special to come here. Right. So, uh, Jennifer, tell us a little bit about yourself. What's your background? Uh, my background is I have a you know undergraduate in criminal and criminal justice, and I worked in a crime scene unit as a fingerprint examiner, and then I have a master's in education, taught in the classroom for ten years, teaching high school students all different scientific disciplines. Uh, so I love developing educational programs for students, especially when I can include uh, you know God's word in all of that. That's really neat. So you didn't do those CSI programs or NCIS on TV. <laughs> no. You're a real forensic yes. scientist. Yes, which I always tell the kids when we talk about forensic science that you know what you see on TV is not quite accurate. <laughs> so, so this it's is a little exaggerated. <laughs> Well, that's great. And you do some forensic workshops here. Yes, we just really spent like. a whole day on forensics yesterday, and they had a great time learning about fingerprints and, and how to process a crime scene. teaching all from a biblical worldview perspective. Yes, absolutely. Well, I see absolutely. some of the kids with their hands up, and they need yes. you, so I'll let you go. Okay, great. Okay, we'll just give a bit of a look around here and uh, have a look at some of the kids here that are doing this. So you're dissecting the heart? Yeah. Okay, step two. Very good. Great to see all this stuff. So, are, are you dissecting this too? Oh, the left side of the heart. Okay. Oh, look, he's he's teaching us what to do. Take your scissors. Cut straight down the front. Just like that. Straight down the front. On the right side. Straight down the front on the right. Pull it apart. That's the right ventricle. This is the H of the top part where you just made the cut earlier. Then you have the main pump chamber on the right. This is the right ventricle. Notice the wall. It's the wall of muscle. In between the two, you have these little strands. That's part of the tricuspid valve. This is the valve you just stuck your finger through. Somebody's asking here, will Simba classes be held when the new building lower level is completed? Well, yes, once we're down the arc and we have our answers uh, center open uh, and the workshop rooms down below there, we'll run a lot more programs down there as well. So I just want you to get a little uh, idea of what uh, we do here at some of our Explore Days. Different subjects, different topics, different things they do, but they're learning this from a worldview perspective. It's a great opportunity for homeschoolers uh, to bring their kids in and, and have some hands-on science at the Creation Museum. It's a good supplement for homeschoolers. Uh, we also have some uh, Christian schools that get involved in this as well. Uh, one of our local Christian schools, 12 Stones, Academy uh, brings their kids here, and it's uh, one that teaches from a 
worldview perspective, biblical worldview, creationist Christian school, 12 Stones Academy. And that is uh, right here in the local area that uh, we're very much a part of helping and making sure that uh, we have a Christian school that uses Christian textbooks and teaches Christian worldview all from a creationist perspective. Well, the kids look like they're all enjoying themselves and it looks like Dr. Mitchell is able to explain what's going on here. But there you go, see that's the right ventricle. And that's part of the valve. So the cut you made was exactly where it needed to be, it just needed to be a little deeper. And we're going to do exactly the same thing on the left side in a minute. We're going to expose the top chamber and then we're going to cut down that big thick muscle there. So just do exactly that in a minute. You do exactly right. You sound like you think you know what you're talking about. Do you know your wife is watching? I saw her. It get wouldn't her surprise me. She's she's watching. She likes to keep her eyes on me. I know. She she but she's a doctor too. I, I think she was checking to make sure that what you said was right. I, I need to be watched. I have to yeah. say that. Okay. So does each kid have their own sheep heart to dissect? Actually, they're working in pairs. I think it's one sheep's heart per two students that they have here. So they, they both get involved. And one of the things I, I also love about uh, the Creation Museum and the Ark Encounter, we see a whole range of people uh, from different backgrounds, the diversity of people you see at the Ark and the Creation Museum, and uh, that we even see in the workshop here. Uh, you can see that, because, uh, which is really great, because we're all one race, all one family, uh, we're all descendants of Adam and Eve, and of course we deal uh, with that here at the Creation Museum in the Arcade, and helping, helping all these kids even understand that uh, we're all descendants of Adam, which is why we're all sinners and why we all need uh, Jesus Christ. So anyway, with that, if uh, just look here, see if there's any more uh, comments or questions here. Somebody said this is so awesome, love the Creation Museum in the Ark. We'll, we'll just check how some of these kids are going over here. Let's see how they're going. Uh, looks like these young boys are getting there. Did you get... How's it going? Oh, there we are. Okay. So you can see it inside. Oh, yeah? I was being the heart inside here and looking at it and see what's inside the heart. Okay. That's really great. Okay, it's did time you, to move to the did you get yours part. done? I saw you in North Carolina. Oh, in North Carolina? Yeah, you were down there and you had your speech at the church. Yep. Was, was that there. just recently? Yes. In Cary? Yes. Oh, at uh, what was the name of the church? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't go there. Oh, I'm trying to think. Um, where was I in North, North Carolina? At Cary. I wasn't there. I don't know. Colonial Baptist. Yeah. Colonial Baptist Church. Yes. Oh, great. Well, good to see you again. How are you guys going? We got it. We got it. Okay, well, I need to leave them to it here, cutting up their hearts. I actually was feeling hungry before I came here. I'm not sure I'm feeling so hungry now. Okay, next step. we got to keep moving here. So we have someone here saying, the Explore Workshop is great. My daughter loves everything. It's great. Oh, hang on. We'll see what Dr. Tommy does here, and then we'll... Okay, hold it this way. Hold it to the front. Always know where you are. Orient yourself. We just did the right side of the heart. We're going to do the same thing on the left. Find the little structure at the top, that oracle structure I told you about. It looks like a little ear. Just take your scissors and cut right through it. Just like that. Just like that. And open it up, and you're going to see a chamber. That's the left atrium. That's the top chamber on the left. Once you find it, take your finger and stick it all the way down there, which is like the coolest thing you'll do this afternoon. You have just put your finger into the left ventricle. Okay, you can tell he's a doctor. This the is coolest like thing so you can do fun. this afternoon. This is the coolest thing you can do. I mean, when's the last time you put your finger into the left ventricle of anything? You'll remember me forever. Okay. okay. Well, they're having fun. So. I just want you to know about the Explore Days, uh, the special workshops that we have here at the Creation Museum, the fun uh, that kids have here. And there are a number of Explore Days within the next few months, as well as the Explore Camps next year. So we have five-day camps, they're day camps, right. 
uh, five day camps and that's during the summer we've right. just finished those and uh, we have uh, then other workshops as well as the explore workshops right so don't lose heart you could still have an opportunity to be a part of something like this come and visit the creation museum yep. creation and the museum. ark encounter creationmuseum.org slash explore you can find out all about that and of course creationmuseum.org and arkencounter.com today we got to the heart of the matter and with that we'll sign off from here at the creation museum am I good?